Mr. Chairman, I rise to offer an amendment to the fiscal year 2013 Homeland Security Appropriations Bill to increase the funding for federal flight deck officers, or the FFDO program. This amendment is fully offset, costing the taxpayers no additional money. This amendment is also supported by the National Rifle Association. Mr. Chairman, 9-11 woke us up. The reality is that we live in a very dangerous world with varied and morphing threats. While screening can reduce some threats, terrorists are constantly probing and exploiting our weaknesses. FFDOs, along with federal air marshals, act as a chief deterrent. But ultimately, the last line of defense is the federal flight deck officer. Reinforced doors are an important step to slow an attacker and to buy time. But ultimately, the armed pilot is the last line of defense in someone taking over the aircraft to be used as a weapon of mass destruction. Let me say that again. The last line of defense is not the secured cockpit door, but the armed pilot behind it. According to estimates by the Airline Pilots Association, federal flight deck officers only cost $15 per flight segment. Currently, FFDOs defend over 100,000 flight segments per month and 1.5 million flight segments per year. Thousands of federal flight deck officers have been certified through the program despite a budget that hasn't grown since its program's inception. Federal flight deck officers pay many of the expenses out of their own pockets for the privilege and the honor to defend our country from terrorist attack. This year, the Obama administration proposed to half the program, effectively shutting it down. With their proposal of only $12.5 million in funding, the program would not be able to recertify all of the pilots in the program or even maintain its current management structure, and it certainly would not be able to train any new federal flight deck officers. I'm thankful that Chairman Anderhalt and Ranking Member Price have restored the funding levels to the same as they were last year at $25.5 million. But level funding means that over 1,000 pilots who have expressed interest in becoming FFDOs cannot be vetted or trained. Also at the fu this funding level, the program can only train a limited number of pilots who have been vetted. And it would take almost 10 years to process the current backlog, to say nothing of future pilots who may volunteer for the program. With the coming mandatory retirement of many pilots at the age 65, and with combination of fewer new FFDOs coming online, the program will not provide the same level of deterrence. I'd like to reiterate, that the increased funding for the program will not come at the greater expense to taxpayers, and the increase to this amendment of $10 million is fully offset. For only $15 per flight, federal flight deck officers provide the most cost-effective aviation security program in existence. As a former federal flight deck officer myself, I can personally testify about the sacrifices and expenses pilots undergo to participate in the program. They actually pay to protect and defend the nation. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and I reserve the balance of my time.